This video explains how to remove an A values when summarizing a data table using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to install and load the data table package, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line three. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the data table package, such as data.table. So in the next step in lines five to seven of the code, I'm creating an example data table that we can use in the examples later on. So after running lines five to seven of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data table object called data is appearing. And we can print this data table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the console that our data table contains 12 rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. x1 and x2 contain numeric values and the third column is a group indicator. You can also see that one of the values in the column x1 is an A. So this will be problematic later on when we want to summarize our data table. In lines 10 and 11 of the code, I'm summarizing our data table using the lapply and the mean functions as well as the sd command of the data table package. So the mean function specifies that I want to calculate the mean by group and the by argument also specifies our group indicator. So in this case, our grouping column is called group. So after running lines 10 and 11 of the code, a new data table object is appearing at the top right, which is called data group NA. And if you print this data table to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that we have summarized our data. However, you can also see that the output of the group C in the column X1 is an A. And the reason for that is that one of the values in the group C in the column X1 is an A in our input data frame. And for that reason, the output is also an A. So let's assume that we want to summarize our data table without an A values. Then we can use the na.remove argument, as you can see in line 14 of the code. So in lines 14 and 15, I'm using basically the same syntax as in lines 10 and 11. The only difference is that I'm setting the na.remove argument to be equal to true. So after running lines 14 and 15 of the code, our data set data group na is updated. And you can see that by printing the data set once again to the bottom in the RStudio console, and now you can see that the mean value of the group C in the column X1 is equal to 19 after removing the NA values from this group. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.